we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. God, bro. Look how fat he is. Look, That's a new PB. How about that? Put her on there with this. All righty. Boys, today we're making our first drop. We're back with the legendary JB. Yes, sir. Oh. And uh, we got the uh, old Makaira here. I know you guys just saw the big giant monstrosity that is the MP3000. A little bit of fun. This is my type of fun, a big electric reels. Doesn't look like an electric reel, but it is an electric reel. Still got the hand crank over there. We're going to start for uh, swordfish this morning. Make a couple of drops, drift for about an hour or two. Then we're going to spend the rest of the day deep dropping for big groupers. And uh, I'm really excited. This is my kind of fun trip right here. Big swords and deep water groupers it's like right up my alley y'all know it so y'all stay tuned hopefully we got a big giant sword on the other end of one of these rods very soon insta bite insta bite indeed all right before i go on any further uh professor joe needs to sit you down and do a quick just brief you saw the big swordfish i need to explain to the people that have never seen daytime sword fishing before very briefly how we do it it's not as hard as you think. You do it once or twice, kind of gets easy. All right, so here is the rod that we caught that fish on. Uh, big rod, big fish. It's an adjustable butt, very fancy. Uh -huh. Using an 80 wide, I use 130 pound braid. That's because we don't have much current. Uh, most people use 80, that's kind of the standard issue. You will take this swivel right here and attach your bait. We'll call this our bait, right? So after that, I would then strip these lights roughly like three or four lengths apart and use rubber bands, little teeny tiny, we call them rigging rubber bands to secure, we just spin them around the rubber band, secures them to the line. Do the same thing with that. And uh, you can kind of see it in here. This is a wax loop. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get the thing out, but there's like a little piece of wax that you know, loops across that, that you then clip a long line clip to on that so it doesn't slide. This is usually 150 to 100 feet away from the bait at all times. So there's your basic input of how to swordfish, kind of. It's not as hard as you think, it's not. So there you go, you live in 1,500 feet of water. The rock is right up to the coast, you go by the water, 70, 70. There he is. Got him. Got him? No, he's off. He's off. We're going to get one. You know why? Don't pay attention. Yeah. Good attitude, good stuff. He's back. He just bit it again. Yeah. I know. Roger and I could drop it. That was tough. Hitting it with his bill? Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I've stuck him twice. So he's good. Get on this. Yeah. All right, there you go, big boy. All right, hooked up on the Big Mac. That's a good one too. Oh. Woo! <laughs> so here's what happened. I was using the Okuma driller to drill it up because we got bit, and then it went. Then it uh, we pulled the hook on it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a big one. Get ready to reel. Woo. And we were like halfway up and the fish chased it the entire way. And we were, I was probably halfway up and the, the fish chased it the entire way. And then we got, we this happened. We played with him for like five minutes and he got stuck. That's a real one. Luckily, boys, we're gonna be here for a minute. This is a real one. Oh God, I gotta go on top of him again. It's pulling really hard. <laughs> it's pulling real hard. This, this is certainly the biggest swordfish we've ever had. This boat. I probably not, but I hope so. You know what? He might, cause he was squatting on it. I sat in there for like 
probably 45 seconds. I started reeling again after I dropped it quite a ways. So you probably was squatting on it. Hopefully it's down the hatch. We're gonna fight him like he is. Golly. That's a big one. You're getting sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, we got a leader. That was a gigantic splash. <laughs> that, that was. That saw, was. Did you see it, Joe? Like, yeah, it there. I saw the splash. I saw, oh. I saw the tail and the splash. Okay, you'll get it in a second. Yeah. You get on it first. You got it. Yeah. Between 150 and 200. Just going. Yeah. That was bad. See how it gets here. This is the end, Yeah, the whole thing. You didn't see that. Hmm. He's a big one. Going back down again? Yeah. He's a big one. <laughs> oh, he's mad. He's not happy with. Wow. <laughs> that is. Takes a lot. And then we're right back where we started from. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah. One hour in. Oh, Just an angry like boy. I'm, I'm... So like three, four minutes later, he still has not stopped. He's just going back to the bottom. We were a couple of feet away from the leader, and now he's just... Uh, he's making his case for it. It's a beefer. A true beefer. All right, it's ten minutes later, and... <laughs> like, I... Oh. What the... Oh no, turn the camera off. <laughs> turn the camera off. Like this is, this is him. This is a, a true, a true sea monster. Oh my God. Like we're driving on the fish. The fish is driving, is swimming that way. I'm driving that way and he's still ripping line with an ungodly amount of drag. I mean, just look at the bend in this rod guys. Like goodness gracious. Like, that's some heat. Goodness. This is a good one. Why couldn't we have caught a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> this son of a bitch. Like, yeah. You gotta get a good thumbnail, you know? Yeah, bruh. Dude, no, we better, the, be, the good thumbnail better be the big sword in the middle and then a bunch of groupers on the side of them on the bow of this boat. Yeah. Or a big boy laid out there, yeah. died of a heart attack. Stanislaus. Swordfish kills a guy. There's your thumbnail. Alumni. Jay laid up on the bow, dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi man killed blood. <laughs> killed blood. <laughs> killed swordfish. Well, right, y'all. We'll strap you down on the bow, as a good lord would have intended. There you go. Run me into an oil rig or something. You might have to do that. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm in the back up here in a second. Ready? Yeah, let's You're get somebody on the right side. Yeah. Yep. Nice work. Good work, Todd. Whew. How much line I got on there? Oh, we got a ways. Yeah. Real quick, guys, before we get back to the video, I've obviously been able to pump out a lot of content this month. This is because we've had a ton of charter cancellations due to bad weather, and I haven't been able to fish. But I've still been able to fish with my favorite fishing game, Fishing Clash, baby. You can now travel the world to chase fish and explore new places right from your home. If you're like me and Mother Nature just doesn't want you to fish, you can still fish with Fishing Clash. All right, here we go, boys. Throwing it out. Fishing in Florida right now. Oh, we got a bite. We got a bite. We got a bite. Get him. Shoot him. Put the heat on him. Look at the combo. Oh, I messed it up. There we go. Oh, the elusive lane snapper, folks. You! Oh, six gold coins. I'll take that. Thank you very much. You can upgrade your rods and tackle to compete with fellow anglers and complete weekly challenges to improve your fishing skills. Hang on. There's a Pacific Creole fish? I thought that was just in the Atlantic. Can't confirm. Pacific Creole fish is a thing. I learned something today. Also, you can make your own clan so you and your friends and your family can play together and compete with other anglers. So if you want to play with me, download Fishing Clash today. You can use a QR code on the screen or use my code JOVT. And with that code, you will get a unique avatar, a mythical lure, 
50 luck power-ups and 30 weight power-ups to help you get a kickstart in the game. This is a $20 value for free for me to you. And if you're a new player and want to take advantage of this code, just use these three easy steps on the screen to redeem it. I want to give a huge thanks to Fishing Clash. You have no idea how much these kind of things help me out. If you want to play, download today for free and use my code JOVT to redeem that prize. All right, boys, back to the video. Oh yeah, we got leader. Leader, you come away. Goes the oh my gosh, he's an angry boy. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go for the weekend and that door into something amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, it's fun to the track. He ain't going to love that. He saw that tattoo. <laughs> I love this crowd, man. I'm going to the bottom. I love it. I like current rod is awesome. I'm gonna use that same rod for uh, trolling for the big giant elephants as well when uh, they show back up on the shelf. Maybe that big elephant. I mean, I've never seen her. It's such a good rod because it has it has so much backbone, but it has such a sensitive tip. Like, you know, some of these big heavy tip rods that you know, which you need for eight to ten pound leads. Like, you're going to have to have a lot of backbone for that reason. But I'm using five and six pounds. It's kind of like my go to wait like this fish could violently violently shake its head and i feel okay because this rod is sensitive enough if you have like a true broomstick like you don't have that give that um i guess a little bit of forgiveness is the word i'm looking for but that sensitive tip but nick hats off to him man he designed a great rod and putting that reel on there is also badass as well so that's a light current rod. It's got medium and heavy current. If you go on his channel, that's all he uses. Uh, from the family that brought daytime sword fishing to the United States, uh, I think they kind of know what they're doing. <laughs> and the way they made this rod, they did it uh, as about as good as you possibly could. So I'll leave that link below. I haven't talked about it a whole lot. But uh, yeah, man, that's a heck of a rod for deep dropping too. That's a badass rod. Golly. There he goes back. Down. <laughs> All right. Put more heat on him this time. Hopefully this is it for him. But uh, he's still fighting hard. Oh yeah. Play by play. Play by play. I mean, this is as mean as they get. Right after the two hour mark, we were getting him close, but we had him stuck kind of in a Mexican standoff. So I put the drag at right at about 30 pounds, which is way higher than I've ever fought a swordfish with. And started to put the wood to him, just very, very carefully creeping line on the reel, pushing line out if we got a big surge from a swell. But we eventually got him inched up to get towards the lead and to finally take the lead off after over two hours. Could you turn down the music, please? Sorry. I just wanna. Uh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just didn't have music with Gabe, alright? I'm like, hold on. This is that. He's circling around. There it is. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. When he starts talking to him, he gets getting serious. Wait. A little more an hour ago. It's got to be foul hooked. It was here an hour ago. This is about right when he jumped. What are you doing? Lift. Lift. There you go. Alright, when well, do you guys want to finish it off? Finish it off, Jake. How far is the weight from there? 100 foot. 
I see him. I see the fish. Come on, keep him come, keep him come. He's coming straight up, coming straight up, boys. I got you. Real, 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 real. Give me some cranks. Oh my God! Look at the size of him! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Look where he's hooked. <laughs> Side fin. Dude. Side fin hook. Dude, he's 200 plus. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Look at his eye. Wow. What a gladiator. Oh my god, dude. Wow. Look how pretty look he looks, man. Fin, bro. Look at that, dude. Get a hook. Get a shot of that hook. Man. You got it. That's wild, boys and yeah. girls. Look at his color. Yeah, I, sp I brained him. Dude, look at his color. Oh my gosh, boys. Nice purple, shot. Bro. He is bro. Cool. He is too, too cool. Wow. Hey. Hey. All right. hey. Yes, indeed. Hey. Watch oh, over the Watch side. The Watch the gap. Oh, Watch the oh too bad. No, no, no. I'm not ready, guys. Guys, guys, guys. You're going to break a ride. All right, he's coming right there, in. Right there. Let him fall. Oh. <laughs> Watch out. Keep going. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. Bro. Look how fat he Look is. Let's see how fish, fat bro. he was, man. That's what it's called. Hold on, let's get Oh, yeah, boys. Hold on, Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Hold on. I think we just broke the gap. We broke a gap? Yeah, we did. He's dead. He's done, though. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Five. In your lap. In your lap. In your lap. Oh, you're going to knock me over. Yeah. Alright, I'm good. Alright, you can't. Ready? Yeah. Oh, uh, get in there. Come on. Come on. I'm going to bend it down. Oh, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> boy! <laughs> That's what we do. Lazy J fishing is... team right there. Woo! Yeah, yeah, baby. Let's go for a little bit, JB. Look at yeah. this guy. Look at him. Look you! Yes! Yeah. Big sword, baby. Big sword. Yeah, that's, that's gotta... oh. Look at that fish, bro. That's a bunch. <laughs> That is a hell of a Woo! Yes, sir. There's his tail right there. There's the top of his jaw. Literally, if he was Perfect. any bigger, Perfect. we would be in trouble right now. <laughs> Maybe heading in. Old JB's going to put an order in for a 37 now. 37 now. <laughs> Which I think has the same coffin box size. <laughs> but an extra big coffin box. Yeah, XL extra coffin. Box. That's right, so we can fit two in there. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that ends our sword fishing adventure for the day, to say the least. We're gonna go do some deep dropping now. How about that? For everything. Fish. Yeah, small we're gonna fish. small fish. Small fish. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be using electric reels. Electric. Ooh. We're gonna get things cleaned up here, wrapped up, and get ready for that. Woo! Yeah. All right, first drop. I like this big giant thing it doesn't have a spool tensioner which is weird i'm not a huge fan of that so you kind of have to babysit it the whole way down it's kind of slow but it's nice it's big it's got a ton of drag look like an insane person but yeah that's a uh, called a good start all right still waiting but only the finest here at the uh on the lazy j got sausage on the grill we got fish the wonderful, the yep, fish on the line. I got the wonderful sun shade up. I'm about to put a big old something in the boat. He's stalling, he's stalling it out. Hmm. We're getting there. He's floating out. It's definitely a, uh, definitely a grouper. He's floating up. We're in the safe zone now. So he comes. Bless you. That was the cutest thing ever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're in the safe zone now. So if he comes up, he will float. Unless some, some sort of miracle happens for the fish. Here he comes. All right, we're here at Top Shot. 
What we got? Let me see that big old blowout. Big bubble, big bubble. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Big giant or a double, that's what I'm calling. Double. Uh -huh. Good color. That looks like a big one, big fish. We got a big one. Oh, it's just a stud. <laughs> big just one. Look at that monster. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my, my gosh. gosh. Look at this a, what a on a new oh, spot, too, boy. Man, Woo! awesome, bro. Oh, what a nice monster. Oh, what? We get them out real quick. Yeah. Jesus! <laughs> yeah! Pretty that. good one there, boys. Woo! That's a new uh, PB. How about that? New spot, new <laughs> new spot, PB. <laughs> nice! <laughs> two PBs for you today? Oh, oh man! man. Yeah, two oh up. man! Yeah. What? Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Look at that thing. <laughs> Woo! Huge! That is the monster. That might be my favorite fish to eat right cool. there too. Man. Yeah. All right. Dude, look at that dude. All righty. A couple hours later, we got a couple more bites on the yellow edge, but uh, because of lack of conditions, that's what I'm gonna blame. Didn't do too much with it, but moved into about 600 foot snapper fishing now. Doing pretty good. First drop, I'm getting terrorized. Snapperish, big old snapper. big pinky. Wow, look at the size of that oh, pink. Oh, oh that. it's a little jack. <laughs> oh, it is a little jack. Son thing. of a son of a son of a. It's actually amberine. Technically, yeah. he's legal, but we'll toss him. Yeah, we don't want to have to pay. Him. All right, we had a two XLs. That was our excitement for the day. Let's around with some jacks, and uh, I think we we're content to just do a little bit of hanging out after that uh, that one first fish that we hooked. We should, just, the boat. we should have just knocked off early today. Yeah, I know. We, we messed up. We could have had an early day. I could be in bed. I could be waking up from a nap right now. You could. Man, we, but we plan to have some kind of full day or something like that, fishing super hard. But <laughs> we our first two drops of the day got real lucky with that giant sword and that giant yellow edge. You can't really ask for too much more than that. I'll take my two XLs and take my happy little beyond home. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're heading back to Venice right now. Okay, we are back. Time to offload a very busy Venice Marina. <laughs> y'all do good. You guys are doing great. Yeah, y'all. What's the plan yeah, here? Yeah. Get some help. Well, yeah. Where's it going? You're just gonna Into the bucket. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it up on the front of the deck. First. Yeah. No, he's got a. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah. One one thing at a time. Yeah, watch it. Somebody grab that bill. Grab the bill. Yeah, you're in charge of that. Oh, man. I need some help. All right, let me hold on. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> you got it. You do it. Okay, hold it. We're going to have to put him on the deck of the, of the dock. Here, I'll get this. Ready? I got one. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Push it right on the dock. Right, you get to the top, yo. Right, one, two. Nice. All right, moment of truth. So you're getting hoisted. Oh. No, we gotta get the bill off the butt. We gotta get the bill. Keep on lifting. Uh, 214 and a half, it's a PB. Alrighty gang, you've seen me play some really big swordfish, but you haven't seen a detailed uh, version of a yellow edge grouper. So if you want to see some of those videos that I'm playing swordfish with, really the actually with the seven inch sword, sport fishing championship knife, SFC. you can click the SFC knife. Yep, that's right. And this one, they, they, they added this. This is a brand new one, seven inch flexi. So you get the, uh, flexibility on the back of all of your sheaths now the link is either it's in one of these corners it's popping up right now so if you want to see that video that's popping up but I haven't done a really good detailed version of one of these deep water complex groupers first things first so they're really slimy very slimy he's still moving they stay alive for a long time but yeah slimy boys so I usually spray them off that's first things first. Yeah, 
very slippery, muddy boys. And uh, after that, it's pretty much the same thing. But after that, it's pretty much the same thing as a regular grouper. I'll tell you what, this is top three, top three for me. It's a very close second place finish to triple tail. That's probably the best eating fish that swims. Just big, gigantic, white, cold water grouper fillets. It truly does not get better. It's nice and easy. Don't want to miss any of this meat. Getting over the backbone there. Using this flexi knife. This is why I like this flexi knife because you can get over this backbone right here. Flex it down and pretty much kind of in a way scoop all of the meat on the opposite side of the spine right here. When you get here, golly, how thick this freaking piece of meat is. Roll that rib cage. Better for your knife, better for the fish heel. And that right there. Beautiful, boy. Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's about a 10 pound filet of some of the best stuff you'll ever eat. Look how thick this is, folks. <laughs> that is some of the best stuff you will ever eat right there. Yellow Edge Grouper. All right, guys. What an epic trip, man. We're going to see you guys in the kitchen, but man. 215 sword. We're rounding up 215. And one of the biggest yellow edges that I've ever caught. Talk about big, big grain and good eats. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the kitchen. All right. We got this gigantic fat piece of grouper. I like, I kind of wish I didn't cut it at first just cause you could see, just so you could see really how thick that piece is. Like this is way too thick to even like, I thought I was gonna cut it in half. I made some chunks with it for lunch today. Like just some fish bites. And I thought this was gonna be enough for, or okay to cook like a sandwich, but it's way too thick. So I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna make some chunks. I had blackened chunks earlier, but we're gonna fry these. So I guess we'll go vertical <laughs> cuts like that. <laughs> what? I want to cut them thin. Well, though, no, I mean they're thin like they're thin like this, dude. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like, look, cut it like that. You want to cut them down the middle and then cut them? No, and then you'd have a good slab to throw on a sandwich. Oh, we don't have to make sandwiches. We can just make bites. Oh, we're making bites. Yeah, we're making bites. So we'll... oh, all right, all we're right, making yeah. bites. We're making bites. We don't have any bread for sandwich. We're not. How's well, going to Dollar General? That's true, but you know we're just doing some good old groper bites. Well, unless you want a sandwich, you want a sandwich. Let's make a sandwich. We'll, we'll do, do we'll some do, bites and sandwich. We'll do some bites and sandwich. Okay, I like that. So we can split that right there with my curved five inch sword utility knife. So that'll be good. That'll fit on a hoagie. And we can make this fit on a hoagie too, for sure. For sure. All right. I mean, it's just, that yellow edge is like, I'm not big into eating fish. Like if you follow the channel for a while, you know that I would much rather eat shrimp or crabs. Oh yeah, that's for another video. We're filming two videos right now, folks. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm compressing down to like this week. I've set a record the past two days, I've edited a total of five videos and two ad reads, which is insane. It's been really helpful to have those things in my life. Uh, so you can complain about it all you want, but it's really, helping me out a ton. So thank you to those companies reaching out. But uh, we're, about to, we're about to eat a lot of really good food. And I'm very, very excited about it. We're about to go to the mall. How about, we'll, we'll take you to the mall. How about that? But I forgot before we're gonna do, we well, we kind of decide on the way out. We're gonna do a Louisiana classic. The mustard beer batter. Technically. Sorry guys. Alex is an idiot and uh, accidentally shot this in slow motion mode, but pretty much you just put it in a bag. You put mustard in there, put like a small splash of beer, 
We're gonna put an egg in there eventually. We we'll put some spices and some uh, crystal hot sauce in there as well. But sorry for the weird video. And now we're off to the mall. Well, boys, we made it. The mall. The Venice Mall in all its glory. Oh, all this wonderful produce. All right, that's all the produce in the entire city of Venice, Louisiana. <laughs> oh my God. This is the stuff I gotta deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> Get the bag, <egg> box. <laughs> Yeah, the mall is doing mall stuff. Well, we got no sweet rolls. Uh, so we're doing the best thing available. Wanda bread. And we don't have any fish fry, but this BS Kentucky Colonel stuff has green beans on the box. We got some green bean fry ball. All right, we're gonna do what we got. No, I think we're good. Mall trip confirmed done. All right, back from the mall. Gonna drop. Oh god. No shell. No shell. No shell. Imagine. And no shell. Yes! We're gonna add one egg somehow miraculously with no shell. And uh, we got the air fryer heating up. We got this for the other video uh, that you'll have to see. I'm holding a dripping egg. And uh, got rice aroni. Another staple, quote unquote, of uh, down here. Alex is laughing at me and pickles. <laughs> That's just an Alex thing. He loves pickles. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna have a lot of food. It always becomes quite the meal when you have whenever you cook like a one Alexander Sewell. All right, been sitting in the bag for a little bit. It's time to batter. Get it rolling. We are uh, very disappointed in the mall for not having Hawaiian sweet rolls or anything that resembles anything that's kind of like a slider, but that is the life that we live down here. We're gonna keep on doing that to that, and we are gonna do the best that we can with what we have, because that's what we do on this channel. We can't fake anything. We just do what we can. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a little bit when we're dropping this puppy into the grease. All right, we got our little fry daddy deal here who's yep, your daddy the, this is the stuff i gotta deal with on a daily basis part two it's it's uh i got him i got him at the dollar general i paid for his beef jerky and his pickles and i said daddy's got you and he's like i would have rather paid for it than you have the ability to say that <laughs> we're dropping this in the grease right now oh that piece is all stringy she got it set at. It's just like, there's no set. It's just like you plug her in and she just gets hot. Did it, the green light come on? There is no green light. Is there a green light? Did I just mess up our whole dinner? No, it'll start floating. It's not that hot there. Right. You can edit all this. I'm keeping it in. All right, there we go. All right may or may not have messed up. Ah! Grease was not as hot as we thought, but kind of worked out okay. We good, we good. It could have been better. Uh, what it really boils down to is Alex and I are unbelievably hungry and <laughs> we got impatient. Regardless, this is gonna be really, really good. All right, we got this potentially messed up grouper. Hey, what did I say earlier, can't fake nothing. Lesson learned, hopefully you can learn a lesson too. <laughs> oh, this poor grouper. <laughs> That's just so unfortunate. It's still probably gonna taste pretty good. 
That's the one thing about really good fish. It's very hard to mess up. That is, that is what we call a, uh, what's it called? Redemption? Oh, Alex is pointing me in the right direction. <laughs> what are you laughing at? The clown's back here laughing and, and ruining that with the... Uh, Well, that's what's called uh, forgiveness. That's like giving up a 50 yard bomb and then having a holding penalty to take the touchdown back. It's hard to mess up a fish that good. Luckily we got lucky. And boy, thank you so much for watching, love y'all. And he shut out the camera early, but I was gonna say love y'all, see y'all next time. If you haven't become a member yet, Here's how you join. You click here. Thank you to you guys for your support. And like I said, I love you all. I'll see you all next time. And once again, I'd like to give a huge thank to Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video. And do not forget to download on the App Store or Google Play Store.